हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू बैंक एग्जाम डॉट कॉम माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह सो स्टूडेंट्स फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस फॉर द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अप्रैल दैट्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टुडे आई वाज अबाउट टू डू इट इन ऑन सैटरडे एक्चुअली बट आई वाज नॉट रियली वेल सो माई नेम इज़ रमनदीप सिंह एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन विद द फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस फॉर द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अप्रैल नॉट मैनी न्यूज़ कॉन्टेंट्स इन द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ अप्रैल बट स्टिल वी हैव टू डू इट आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू वन स्केल थ्री जी बी ओ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री कॉस इज अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम्स डॉट डॉट कॉम वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड सो वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेज नोट्स क्विजेज एंड द टेस्ट सीरीज इन दिस कॉर्स लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द गो फर्स्ट पार्टनर्स गो फर्स्ट पार्टनर्स विद बुक माई फॉरेक्स टू प्रोवाइड फॉरन एक्सचेंज सर्विसेज टू द इंटरनेशनल फ्लायर्स सो गो फर्स्ट Uh, partners with book my forex so please remember that not very important but can be asked in the exam rbi appoints neeraj nigam as new executive executive director so students whenever you are going to the exam uh, to the examination center jab bhi aap exam dene jao please go through the latest rates latest rates latest policy rates from the rbi's website and the list of governors and executive uh, the govern name of the governor and deputy governor and executive go governor go through that list you need to remember that okay that's important neeraj nigam he has been appointed as new executive director google introduced bard an ai powered chatbot which is competing with chat gpt i hope you have already uh, heard about chat gpt chat gpt is backed by microsoft please remember that as well chat gpt is backed by microsoft ye bhi yaad rakhe and bard which is a, which is an competitor of chat gpt so please remember that this question can be asked in the exam exam mein aise question aksar aa jate hain so india's foreign uh, trade policy india's foreign trade policy 2023 was announced by a uh, union minister Piyush Goyal. So, new foreign trade policy 2023 has been launched. So, we are going to read in depth about this policy in the course. So, don't worry. India ranks 144 in uh, World Happiness Report. So, let me just hide myself so that you can read properly. So, India's rank in the World Happiness Report. Please remember, 144 is the India's rank. Okay. So, that is important. Okay. let's move forward so in this slide the rbi is uh, executive director and this one and this one they are very very important okay so india's gdp growth likely to moderate to 6.3% so as per world bank in the financial year 2024 so students expected growth numbers expected growth numbers expected growth numbers by international institution that is an important topic a bahut hi important topic hai by imf world bank by reserve bank of india nso ka data so growth numbers by any institution by by any renowned institution international or indian by niti aayog that is really really important ye exam mein aa jata hai The Rajya Sabha on Monday approved Competition Amendment Bill 2023. There are two changes, two major changes in this amendment. Important है ये. So reduce the overall time limit for CCI. So CCI के पास approval के लिए जो है भेजना पड़ता है. If there is any major merger, बड़े level का कोई merger है, then CCI approves that merger. Okay, approval of CCI. Competition Commission of India का approval is required. So that period which CCI requires to give the approval is going to be reduced from two hundred and ten days to one fifty days. Now it is one fifty days. New provision expands the scope of CCI merger regulation by bringing deals worth more than two thousand crore, requiring CCI clearance. कोई भी deal जो दो हजार करोड़ से ज़्यादा है, any deal which is more than two thousand crore, even that requires CCI का approval. That requires CCI का approval and 150 days uh, from the date uh, 150 days from the date of parties notifying the deal to the CCI CCI को approval देना पड़ेगा. So the time period has been reduced and the 2000 crore से ऊपर की deals पे it's okay. Uh, इसपे CCI का approval चाहिए. 
लॉरेल अनाउंस दैट इट इज गोइंग टू अक्वायर द ब्रांड इसोप फॉर टू पॉइंट फाइव थ्री बिलियन सो लॉरेल इज गोइंग टू अक्वायर द इसोप फ्रॉम ब्राजील्स नेचुर एंड कंपनी ओके सो ब्राजील्स नेचुर एंड कंपनी इनका ऑस्ट्रेलियन ब्रांड है लग्जरी कॉस्मेटिक ब्रांड इसोप ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट दैट इज अ मेजर एंड वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट acquisition so please remember the cc this is also all these pointers are really important from the last week reliance industry acquired uh, reliance industry and its telecom arm um, jio infocom they are going to raise 5 billion dollars 5 billion us dollars in foreign currency loans so one of the biggest loans one of the biggest fund raising in india Uh, the fundraising by the group led by the Asia's richest man and is the largest syndicated loan in India's corporate history. So, India's ki corporate history me this is one of the largest loan, right? Five billion US dollars, huge money. The California tech giant has announced that Apple is going to start its first retail store. So, Apple is going to start its its first retail store in Mumbai's. Bandra Kurla complex so again this uh, particular mall is owned by Mukesh Ambani and uh, its competitor 22 com- competitors of Apple they cannot open any office or any store in that particular complex okay and soon the Apple BK or BKC is going to start a new store in New Delhi as well Uh, so the world is celebrating the World Homeopathy Day on tenth of April. So please remember that on tenth of April, World Homeopathy Day is going to be celebrated. So Apple ka first uh, retail store is going to be opened in Mumbai. Okay, five billion dollar dollar ka loan Reliance Industry is taking. Okay, Singapore based sovereign wealth uh, fund Tamsek. Tamsek hi kehte hain waise isko. is acquiring 41% additional stake in India's largest uh, health chain or the hospital chain Manipal Health Enterprises so majority stakeholder ban jayenge and the uh, 59% of the stake in Manipal uh, chain of hospitals uh, would be uh, that would be owned by Tamasek okay so that is an important news please remember the name of the wealth fund tamasek and they acquired 59% stake in manipal health enterprises and reliance industries acquired campa cola that's a renowned brand from 90s in india and they acquired it just for 22 crores and reliance uh, is launching three flavors campa cola campa lemon and campa orange good brands <clears throat> so asian development Br- uh, bank adb commits 150 crores to tata power delhi uh, distribution limited so how they have contributed that money so adb proposes to subscribe non convertible debentures worth 150 crores to tata power delhi distribution limited to enhance delhi's power distribution through uh, grid enhancements right to support the functioning of upi now upi can be for the payments less than payments less than 200 rupees transactions less than 200 rupees you can load that money in your upi wallet you can load that money in your upi wallet and without using internet without using internet you can make upi transactions using the upi light facility so by using upi light facility you can make upi transactions okay so that's something new that that has happened so students that's all for this week not many news is uh, contents are there but still whatever we have done is really really important ibps rrb scale 2 scale 3 course we have already started on bank exams at dot.com join the class on bank exams at dot.com if you like the demos uh, list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i'm really really happy for them If there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts. Uh, our number is already available, and that's actually all for today's students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.